Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Throwback Thursday and we have Ms. Needy Girl to thank for picking this week's Throwback Thursday. But before we get any, go any further, nothing on my nails. They actually get really weak. I had to cut them down to um, like to nothing. Uh, if I put polish on consistently for a while and I use acetone to take it off because I did have a lot of glitter on my nails, um, it, my, my nails, like my hair, are very, very fine, very thin. Um, so it just sort of, you can sort of see the layers coming off. So I just like, ah, just cut them off, start from fresh. But I do have a Revlon lip product. It's totally rubbed off, but it's a Revlon product um, in 001 Honey. And it's one of those crayons, you know. It's a popular color. I know a lot of YouTubers, I bought it because a lot of YouTubers were raving about it. And I thought, hey, at Walmart, this is pretty cheap. So anyway. All right, so Ms. Needy Girl, thank you very much. But she picked this week um, Hayden Rohn's Mint Mojito. Sorry. Still have that hazy glare of all the forest fires out there that are going around my province. Um, so I did a big order with Hayden Rowe in, I think it was, I ordered it in March, but it came in April because there were some customs. I did some loaves and things like that. So this is one of the items I did decide to pick up, mint mojito. I love a good mint mojito if on the patio in the summer. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. And it's, you know, like it requires a little bit more work than your general like pour and go kind of drink. So, you know, you gotta take your time sometimes. Anyway, moving right along. Now, I went onto the Hayden Row website and there's quite a long lengthy story about the scent. But instead of telling the story, I thought I'd do the top, the middle, and the base notes for you guys and what they say it is. So this is just the container because I have already melted this already. But um, Hayden Rowe says that the top note is fresh garden mint, the middle note is pineapple, and the base is sig uh, sorry, sugar cane and floral. Now, I will tell you this. Immediately, within like moments of putting it on a warmer, I got that fresh mint. I loved it. It wasn't, it's not peppermint, it's not spearmint. It's that little mint leaf that you would get um, on your whipping cream on a dessert um, that you know, that, that you can actually eat. It's supposed to cleanse your palate before you go in to eat or to freshen your breath after you're finished your meal, that kind of thing. Um, it's totally, right away, smelled like that. But I will say, scent to peel on cold because Hayden Row was a blind order. I never got to, before ordering from Hayden Row, of course, I never got to smell anything. But I thought, well, if it is mint mojito, then I probably will like it. So I should probably go on. Um, I think, I'm not sure. I think this is a two ounce scent shot. Yeah, it looks like it says two ounce on the bottom of the, of the um, container. Two ounce scent shot, it's a couple bucks. Um, they're sold out as of today, as of the day I'm filming. And it's also the same day I'm uploading, which is th Thursday, um, August 10th. And they are sold out of this scent, but um, I know that everyone's starting to transition to like a fall lineup collection. So you'll probably see this again. I have no doubt about that. And you could probably do customs as well, I would imagine. Um, anyway, so scent appeal, when I got it, I really liked it. It smelled just like the drink. It totally, it smelled like the fresh mint, not the booze, but the fresh mint and like a little bit of the the drink itself and then the sugar rim on top. It's just exactly how I would have imagined it. And I, would, I was blindfolded and given two different drinks, uh, or sorry, given this under my nose and the actual drink itself, the only difference would be that I couldn't get alcohol out of the scent of the alcohol out of there, um, out of the melt, which is fine by me. I don't really need my house to smell like booze, that kind of thing. So, um, as, okay, so scent appeal on cold, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. Thought it was great. Uh, I did split this, all my Hayden Row scent shots, actually any scent shot this size, Hayden Row, Rainbow Melts, that kind of thing. I always take and I split it right down the center and I split it and I have two warmers in this great room. I have one right over here, which is a Bath & Body Works 24 watt or 25 watt uh, melter. Then I have a mainstay melter in my kitchen right now. And between these two shots melted, um, it scented my entire house like entire, I'd say the bathroom, which is way down there and around the corner, mm, it probably didn't reach that. It, it didn't reach that, but I'd say everywhere else in the in this place, it totally reached. Um, so like I was starting to say, when I started melting it, like I just put it in the melters. I think I walked around, I was doing laundry or something, housework or whatever. And um, 
And within five minutes of putting these things in there, they ha obviously have not melted down. They haven't pulled out yet. They barely even have like a tiny little wax pool on the bottom because it's just had time to melt. It smelled beautiful. It was so strong of that fresh mint, that little mint leaf that you would get at your dessert or, you know, on top of a, say, mint hot, hot chocolate mint, co um, hot cocoa, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that little sprig of mint, it was just beautiful. And that was, I actually was like, I like that. That's refreshing. It really is refreshing. Just like a mint mojito should be refreshing within reason. Um, it is really, really, really refreshing. I really like that. But what I will say here though, is that as it developed and then totally pulled out, I gave it about eight hours. I'd say I got six hours of a throw on this one. It did change a little bit and not for the worse. It just changed from very, very mint to a little on the sugary side and then mint. I got no pineapple. So where it says here that the, the mid middle note is pineapple, I didn't get pineapple. And it's odd because as far as I know, and I've made a few mo mint mojitos, I've purchased a few mint mojitos, I've had a few mint mojitos in my heyday, um, I don't recall there being pineapple in it. So anyway, I did not get pineapple. Maybe it's my head, but I, to my head and my nose, I did not re to get any pineapple scent from this. Um, and it also says on the base, it's sugar cane and floral. I got no floral which is fine by me. You guys know I'm not the biggest floral fan out there. Um, but if you bought this thinking you were gonna get a floral, first of all, of the name, I don't know why. But anyway, I like this very much. Uh, the scent throw between these two, like I said, it lasted about, I don't know, like six to eight hours, somewhere around there, but it kind of petered out about five. Or my nose got, and I don't get this often, was it, um, like where your nose just gets used to the scent of your house and you're like forget that it's even there and it's not that it wasn't strong it was just one of those it's minty and what have you i would absolutely repurchase this again in a scent shot i wouldn't personally i wouldn't get one in a big loaf but that's everyone's preference is different right um oops and um overall i'll say between the throw and then the cold sniff, my appeal, and how long it lasted. I'll give this scent shot a seven and a half. So overall, I would definitely repurchase this in a scent shot. This one here was poured in March of 2017, so I have plenty of time for a cure, but I don't think Hayden Rowe actually requires a lot of cure time. My favorite Hayden Rowe still to, to date is my love spell. I'm so glad I bought like the biggest loaf ever and I cut it all up, so <laughs> I love it. Um, so anyway, Oh, it says what net weight 1.5 ounce, but this thing apparently holds two ounces because it says so on the bottom. So it does say 1.5 ounce. So you guys, that is my review on Mint Mojito from Hayden Rowe. I really liked it. Again, I wouldn't buy a huge thing of it, but you know, if you're gonna have some girlfriends over or like say, okay, say you're in the middle of winter, it's disgusting and gross out and you're having some drinks. This will bring you right back to summer. <laughs> So I, I really quite enjoy that. So that would be a lot of fun to do, to test my friends' noses out. Um, all right, you guys, and thank you very much, Ms. Needy Girl, for selecting this week's Throwback Thursday of Mint Mojito from Hidden Row. All right, so we don't have much left. I, I am so excited, you guys. I've already selected my candles and my melts for the fall Throwback Thursday. I am so excited. I think it's this time of year, well, and we haven't really had a whole lot of summer. Our summer has been really socked in with with smoke. Um, it, it should be beautiful and clear and blue out there, but I cannot see the sky. I cannot even see the ocean across the way, which isn't even that far away. That's how thick it is. So I'm kind of hoping this thing clears up soon, and I'm so you know, thankful for everybody who's up there fighting the fires. Um, I'm not up there. Um, there are places or people throughout Vancouver Island that are being sent up there actually all throughout the province. The military is there. Um, it's a state of emergency. <laughs> um, but uh, we're, we also have to keep people like ourselves here just in case something happens on this island. Um, so yeah, so I'm just hoping that we don't, it doesn't get too crazy out here with heat. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to show you what I have left. I have two candles and a few different melts. We only have a couple weeks left. Keeping that in mind, a couple weeks left of melting summer uh, summer picks before we go into fall, and I'm so excited! I can't wait. All right, 
Let's just do the candles. I've got Cole and Canary's Crimped Hair and Truth or Dare, which is mango, papaya, vanilla, and coconut. That's a Canadian company. And the last candle, oops, I always have trouble taking this up, is Candlelight Company's Tropical Fruit Medley. Now on to melts. Sassy Girl Aromas, Orange Sherbet Tangerine Satsuma, Hello Sweet Thing, Noel's Fluffy Birthday. That was a mini pie that I chopped up. And I have four bunts of mango peach salsa, also from Sassy Girl Aroma, and two clamshells. One of them is from Sensationals from Walmart Island Bonita. And lastly, Rainbow Cotton Cream Soda from The Bathing Garden. So you guys, that's all that we've left. I can't get over it. It's awesome. I love it. All right, you guys. Um, thanks again for tuning in. And for all my new subscribers, thank you guys so much. This is great. I love it. Um, yeah, I hope I can keep you entertained. Because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I never thought it was very entertaining. But apparently, um, yeah, I, sometimes when I watch my videos to make sure that it's okay before. I've had to refilm a few before. Um, and others are just like, eh. I was like, oh my gosh, I was, uh, must have had a moment. All right, you guys, as always, be safe and have fun.